What's up everybody? Welcome to Happy Go Illustration. I am Hannah and this is where I strive to help you cultivate a happy creative life. Today's video is about a topic I find kind of interesting and I hope you do too. I'm going to talk about flow or what it means to be in the zone. One of my first source materials for this is a book called Performance Studies and Introduction by Richard Schechner and I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Performance studies is a pretty new field that seeks to analyze the world, everything around us through the lens of performance. Anything from quite literal performance or what we think of as performance such as plays or movies to more philosophical applications of it such as saying that every action we perform in our daily lives is a performance in and of itself. So anyway there's a chapter in that book that talks about flow or goes into detail about what flow is and it begins with play which isn't necessarily always playing games. Play is any circumstance where we as participants understand that it something is not for real such as telling a joke where everyone who's included in that understands that what is being said isn't for real. That's a form of play. So specifically, the form of play that I'm talking about has to do with art making. When I am working on a painting or a drawing, whatever I'm making is not for real. It is a recreation of something that may or may not be real, especially if it's something from my imagination, then it's definitely not for real. But that's where it starts, is it starts with engaging in something that we have accepted is not for real. So what is flow? Where does flow come in? So in the 1970s, there was a Hungarian American psychologist who was one of the first people to study flow in detail. His name, I'm gonna to try to pronounce correctly, his name was Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. Um, really cool guy. I'm gonna put a link to his website in the description as well. A direct quote from him, he says, the best moments in our lives are not the passive, receptive, relaxing times. The best moments usually occur when a person's body or mind is stretched to its limits in a voluntary effort to accomplish something difficult and worthwhile. So in that quote, Mihai Csikszentmihalyi is obviously talking about flow. He's talking about how when engaging in play, we enter a sort of zone, if you will. So. How can we find flow in art making? Csikszentmihalyi actually talks about eight characteristics of flow, so I'm gonna run through those pretty quickly. Number one, complete concentration on the task. Seems pretty simple. Number two, clarity of goals and reward in mind and immediate feedback. Number three, transformation of time, either speeding up or slowing down. So when you're working really intensely on a project and you feel like you've been working on it forever and you look up and only five minutes have passed, or the opposite, where you feel like you've only been working for a couple minutes and then you look up and an hour's gone by. That has to do with flow. You know that you have been in at least some degree of flow if that alteration of time has occurred. Number four, an intrinsically rewarding experience. Yeah, that's self-explanatory. Number five is effortlessness and ease. And number six is a balance between challenge and skills. So this goes hand in hand with effortlessness. It's harder to find ourselves in a state of flow if what we are doing is beyond our capabilities. But if there's a good balance between the difficulty of what you're doing and your own skill level, then you're more likely to find that zone, enter that trance. Number seven, actions and awareness are merged or it seems like there is a loss of self-consciousness. This I think is the characteristic people normally think of when they think of being in the zone. Number eight is a feeling of control. This kind of seems self-contradictory, but it's a very important characteristic of flow because you only enter that state if you have control over what you're doing. So those are Csikszentmihalyi's main characteristics of flow. On his website, he talks about how we can utilize flow to find greater happiness in our lives. So in my last video, I talked about ways to be ready or more susceptible to inspiration. And a lot of those things I think can also enable us to enter flow, especially once you are working on something that you are greatly motivated by, greatly inspired by, you're more likely to enter that state. And then the work you make is gonna be more powerful or at least more rewarding. Even if the work that I make when I'm in the zone isn't necessarily better than the work that takes more effort, I enjoy it more. And and I think that's really important. That's about it for this video. I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but please excuse this large blue backdrop. I'm actually in the process of getting ready for my first trade show, which is very exciting. Let me know if you want to see a video about that. And a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon. If you're interested in joining that and seeing behind the scenes on my business endeavors and the projects that I work on, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.